We have here a model from an architect inside of Revit structure. We switch to the first floor, select the wall and call the split command from the IDAT commands of the Revit precast tools. This splits the wall into two panels according predefined rules. We get the gap between the panels with a profile, the reinforcement, the connection loops are created and also the lifters are positioned automatically according to the center of gravity. Let's split all the remaining walls. We see here T connections are performed automatically and all the other walls are connected together. In a three-dimensional view, we can check all the wall panels and their connections. If we switch to the wireframe presentation, we see all the rebars inside the wall panels, which are created automatically during splitting according predefined reinforcement types. Now let's split this outside wall. Here we will see another possibility to connect the wall panels together. To see this, we will isolate these two panels and look from the inside. We have here two anchor plates so that we can melt the two panels together and on the bottom we have grout pipes to connect the panels with the foundation. If you have a higher wall like this, we will get a segmentation in multiple rows because this wall is higher than the maximum panel height, so it will also be split horizontally. We see here all our wall panels. If we look on the side, we can see that there is also a horizontal gap between the panels and a special profile. In the project data, we change now the maximum wall length to 3 meter and the maximum wall height to 10 meter. With this setting, we will split this wall in a way that the panels are produced, rotated on the pallet in the factory. We have now high small panels, also with the connections between the panels. Now we create a shop drawing for the panel 15 and the panel 98. Here we see the shop drawing for wall 15. We have a front view with automatically created dimension lines and with labels for the reinforcement. On the top view we see the dimensioned lifting points, the stirrups are shown, all with position numbers and for the stirrups we see here a bending sketch. On the bottom we have a shaded 3D view and on the right hand side the part list and the rebar schedule. The layout of the whole shop drawing is customizable. Let's have a look on the shop drawing of wall panel 98. This is this one with the connection plates, what we see here, and the grout tubes on the bottom. Here again are the plates and the tubes in the top view. Now we select the inside walls and create the machine files for the production. We can load these files into the external stacker program to define the transport stacks for the site. First we place our wall 15 on the one side of the truck and the panel number 2 on the other. 
In this way we position all our panels on the truck. The next step in the workflow is the planning of the production. Therefore we put the wall panels with the pelletizer program on the production table. This can be done manually by drag and drop or fully automatically. We have now all our wall panels on the tables ready for production. With the machine data out of our Revit model we can provide data for automatically bending the stirrups. Also a mesh welding machine produces meshes according our Revit model. A plotter marks the position of the wall openings on the production table. The shuttering robot places the shutter following the outline of the walls and the position we defined with the pelletizer program. An insert robot puts single rebars exact on that position we defined in the Revit model. The last step is the concrete spreader. This machine fills in the exact amount of concrete which was calculated inside of Revit. After curing, the ready-made wall panel is lifted from the pallet and placed on the transport stack which was defined within the stacker program. After transportation to the site, the panels can be installed. All together we have seen with the IDAT Revit precast tools the complete workflow from design to fabrication of precast wall panels inside of Autodesk Revit structure.